Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are continuing our study on adding two two-digit numbers and we're going to continue using dimes and pennies to help us. All right, if you have some dimes and pennies, I would like for you to run and get them so that you can do this right alongside of me. Run and get them. Are you back? All right. We are going to put 24 cents on our little graph. I'm going to use two dimes to show the 20 in 24, and then I'm going to put four pennies to show 24, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And now we're going to add 63. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, and 63. Hmm. 24 plus 63. Let's find the answer. We're going to start over here with our pennies. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's because four plus three equals seven. And then over here on our dimes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our answer would be 87 cents. Now, I want you to count the money with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. 24 plus 63 equals 87 cents. Well, let's try another question. This time we're going to add 48 plus 21. And we're going to use dimes and pennies to do that. So while I put them on the board, I want you to get those dimes and pennies as well. For 48, I would need four dimes, 10, 20, 30, 40, and eight pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48 cents. And now I'm going to show 21. That's two more dimes and one more penny. Hmm, let's add these together. How many pennies do I have? Two, four, six, eight, one more, that's nine. Two, four, six. I have 48 plus 21 equals 69 cents. Count the money. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. Well done. Let's try this again. This time we're going to add 37 plus 23. For 37, we'll put down three dimes, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37. Hmm. Now we're going to add 23 cents. 10, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Let's add all of this together. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Hmm. Did you know that I cannot put a two-digit number in one space? I can't put the number 10 in the ones place because it is a group of 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trade these pennies for a dime. Do I have enough? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Ten. I do. I can put a dime on that side. Now, let's count what we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
60. We have 60 cents. That is zero pennies and six dimes. Hmm. Let's try this again. What if we added 56 cents to 34 cents? I'm going to start by putting up five dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And now we're going to add six pennies. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. And now we're going to add 34. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. Well, we're going to start off by adding all of the pennies in our one spice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm, what do you know about the number 10? It has two digits instead of one. And we can trade the 10 pennies for a dime. Now, if we were doing that with this question, and if we had 56 plus 34, and we had 6 plus 4 equaling 10, we could put the zero in the ones place or the pennies place and we can make a little one, hmm, we could put it right here or some people put the one up on top. So they, you would be adding one group of 10 to the tens place. Just like if you were trading pennies for dime. All right, we have one plus five, which is six plus three more, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, just like I said before, some people put their one down here and that's not going to make a difference. We can still add it from there. Five plus three is eight plus one more is nine. Well, let's trade these pennies for a dime. Two, four, six, eight, Ten. That gives us an extra dime over here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 cents. We see that there are zero pennies, but nine dimes. Oh class, today I would like for you to try adding two two-digit numbers using some dimes and some pennies. Do you think that if you have 10 or more pennies that you can trade them for some dimes? Give it a try. I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye!